Hi guys, hello and welcome to Java Tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn how you can display output in columns in Java. Well, in order to display output in columns in Java, you will take help from system.out.printf method, not print or print ln, because they cannot do that. If you are coming from other programming languages like C Sharp, right line is the method that would work with um, column formats, but not in Java. So what we will do is we will take help from system.out.printf and you will open the parentheses just like you do with, with println. However, you will create a long string first and then in that you will add some placeholders and outside you will list as many values as there are placeholders. For example, if I want three placeholders and they're all of type string, I'll use percentage %s, percentage %s, percentage %s, and now I'm going to list my three placeholders outside. So in my case, in this application, I want to display one column of IDs, one column of names, and one column of GPAs. So these are the three values that I want to use in here. Okay, so the first S represents IDs, the second S represents names, and the third S represents GPAs. Okay, now let me run this, and it will not going to make a lot of difference, but at least so that you can see the output, you can see IDs, names, and GPAs being displayed right next to each other. Now, we want to separate them out in columns. So to do that, what you do is you give each column a certain width. If you give a negative number to the column width, it makes it left aligned. If you give a positive number, it makes it right aligned. So if I want my IDs to be left aligned six, I'll use negative six. If I want my names to be left aligned six, I'll going, uh, 20, I'll gonna use negative 20. If I want my GPAs to be right aligned six, I'll use positive six, okay? So now let's test this again. In the output, you can see IDs comes in with couple spaces, and then a names comes with 20 spaces, so five are filled and after 15 spaces, then starts the six spaces for GPAs, and six of them out of six, four are filled, so we have two spaces here uh, remaining from that column. Okay, now if I start putting in data, which is I have ID data, I have name, and I have GPA. However, they are of different types. They're not of type string. Unlike C Sharp, Java does require each of the format code to represent the data type. So for example, IDs, I will be displaying ID one here, and I will be displaying my name one here, and I will be displaying my GPA one here, okay? Now, ID1 is of type integer. So for type integer, we use the format code D. Name is of type string, so I'm going to leave it S. And GPA is of type double, so I'll use F for floating point. Okay? Now, when I run it, you're going to run into one more logical problem, and that is everything gets to be displayed on the same line. And the reason is, printf doesn't automatically forces the next printf to go on the next line. So what you do, you end each printf with a slash n within the double quotes, which forces the next line to automatically go to the next line, the next instruction to go in the next line. So now things are arranged beautifully within the columns. Okay, so now I'm going to add one more line so that you can get to see the column output. And here you can see in the output that this is the IDs column, this is the names, and that's GPAs column. Now, because of this extra space, you can see it shows here. And this was just to show you that an extra space here will affect your output. So let me get rid of this space. Let me get rid of this space so that things align well. Let me run it again. And here you can see the nice output. However, there is one more limitation or problem we are running into. We want the GPA to go only up to two digits, not go up to like six decimal digits, which is the default for floating point. 
And this also throws us off our total size of six. Therefore, things are not aligning well. So to make that happen, what you do for floating point is you will going to do 6.2, 6.2. So we want two decimal places only. And now things align perfectly well. So this is how you can display your output in the column format in Java. Hope you would have enjoyed this tutorial. Catch you in the next one. Take care. Let me know if you have any questions in the call in the comment section below. Don't sh forget to like, share, subscribe to my channel. Um, uh, take care. Bye bye.